Okay, my name is Jason Oxen. I'm the owner of 208 Dis, a pro shop here in Boise, Idaho. I just wanted to do a short video here and do a little bag comparison between the three top bags on the market right now, in my opinion. Um, I've always been a little bit of a bag connoisseur, even before I had the shop, but even more so now being able to get feedback from customers and see the latest improvements and upgrades on some of the bags that are coming out. Um, these are all three backpack style bags. Seems to be kind of the future of, of disc golf bags. A lot of people are getting away from the back straps and the, the aches and pains associated with them. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go over these bags and tell you what I like about them, tell you what I don't like about them. Um, I'm gonna be pretty honest. I'm not really gonna rip on any certain bag, but um, I've had some experience with all three of these. So I just kind of wanted to be able to give you a comparison of the three and let you decide which one you prefer. So I'm actually gonna start out with the grip bag here. This is the newest run of the grip bags. This is the A14 or A14 Tour Series bag. Um, they've done some upgrades from the first runs based on customer feedback, uh, warranty issues, stuff like that. This is actually the first disc golf backpack style bag that I ever had. Uh, I really enjoy it. The upgrades that they've done to it have definitely improved it. Um, so we're just gonna go over this one real quick. So this is the newest grip bag here in the purple color. This one comes in purple, orange, gray, and a uh, kind of an aquamarine tealish green color. I really like this purple color. They've changed up the design a little bit. Um, the last run of A-Series bags had a giant grip logo right here, grip logo up here. Um, didn't have this cool little disc golf map design down here on the bottom. I actually really like that. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about it at first, but it turned out pretty decent. Um, my personal opinion about the grip bags was I, I was kind of, um, I, I thought it was a little much to have the grip logos just plastered all over it. I've had some other people that have kind of said the same thing. It's cool to have your, your logo on there and whatnot. It just seemed a little bit excessive. They've toned it down with this one a little bit. Nice design, nice colors. Um, and we'll go over the improvements as well. So we'll start out with the, the quality of material. Uh, I'm really impressed with grips quality. It holds up really well. I personally haven't had any stitching issues or anything like that. Some customers have had that with the later runs. It seems like they've really improved on that. Um, another upgrade that they've done is uh, widening these bumpers on the bottom and I believe they made them a little bit taller too to keep it up off the ground. So it sits really well. I know the first runs of grips uh, way back in the day had a tendency to tip. Mine tipped over quite a bit, especially on like a hilly, a hilly surface. It was kind of a pain. But we'll open up this main flap here and talk about capacity real quick. Now there's no divider in the grip bag like there is in the other two here. So I've got a pretty honest uh, capacity going on down here. Keep in mind that as your bag gets worn in a little bit, these walls get softened up, you do have the ability to squeeze a couple of more discs in the bottom down here. So right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got 16 discs in here right now. Um, it also has the two disc quiver pocket up top where you can put your two putters up in there if you'd like. One of the nice things about this grip pocket is you can actually pull this pocket up. Some people like to be able to reach over their shoulder for a, you know, to just putt out from a couple feet, finish your hole out. They actually have uh, upgraded to a bit of a, a pull, pull string up in here to where you can tighten that up and it actually raises up this putter pocket. So you have the ability to have your putters kind of sticking out of the top a little bit if you like that style. Makes it easier to reach back, putt out real quick if you need to, or you can lower that thing down, stick it down in there hidden from view. Um, for whatever reason, they decided to label the, the pockets on uh, this new run of, of A-Series. So it actually says two disc quiver pocket up here, valuables pocket. It probably helps because I have buddies that put their putters in here. I got buddies that put their putters in here and you can put your putters wherever you want, but I think uh, they're trying to maybe have the bag last a little longer and not have you stretching everything out and testing those seams more than they were supposed to be. So anyway, you got the two up there. You got 16 plus down here. You could probably cram a couple more in there. I don't like to cram my discs in there. It's getting hot. Temperature's getting hot. 
don't want to warp any of your uh, your drivers or anything like that so next we got a little pocket up in here where you can store your valuables it's actually labeled valuables pocket um, it's got a couple little sub pockets inside of there for a cell phone uh, pack smokes whatever you got going on so there's some pockets within the pockets in there right down here you have an additional pocket like I said sometimes some of my buddies put their putters down in here or whatever um, this is just another spot where you could put a scorecard your cell phone something like that if you wanted to on the side over here we got your pencil pockets up top side pocket here inside this pocket is again some more sub pockets you got two little pockets right here we put cell phone you know extra extra stuff up in there and then a large side pocket right here we got a buckle over right over here for if you want to put your stool in this side right here or maybe even an umbrella cinch that up use that pocket you got your drink carrier right over here the grip bag has two drink carriers which i think is crucial and should pretty much be done on every bag unless you have the storage capacity available to put some extra gatorades or something in there but this bad boy has two drink pockets which is nice on the other side same type of deal side pocket with sub pockets in there put some stuff up in there you could put your stool over here if you'd like to you could put your umbrella on this side you could have a stool on one side umbrella on the other side it's all up to you so there's that um, you reach down inside the main disc compartment right here and this is where your rain flies kept it's kind of cool that they have that little pocket there because I'm I'm kind of a neat freak I like to tuck my rain fly up and get it in its little spot so your rain fly is folded up and in there out of the way your rain fly applies to several snaps on the back of the frame goes all the way down to the corners covers the bag really nicely um, most of the time I would just snap my top ones up and then you can leave your flap open here so you can just bust in grab your disc real quick and you don't have to unsnap the bottom ones if you prefer to have the bottom ones snap down there you can do that as well keeps the bag pretty dry uh, which is a good thing grips quality is really nice on these bags however if you leave them out in the conditions regardless of what bag it is it's going to get soggy saggy nasty and uh, I've seen it I got a buddy who's got a pretty saggy bag going on right now and uh, I'm not sure if that's just from excessive use or not using his rain fly enough but I highly recommend using the rain fly when you get the chance we'll pull that out of the way flip this around adjustable straps on the back got a couple buckles here if you want to hang something from there bag tag or whatever um, you got your strap across the back here to make it extra tight I like to rock mine all the way down on the straps um, I do that with pretty much any bag so it doesn't sit as comfortably as it probably should um, with the grip bag in particular it's it really isn't that comfortable to have the straps all the way down the way that the straps sit on your arms it kind of will slide off if you don't have it cinched tight it was pretty much meant to be cinched tight up against you to uh, maximize the the framework of it and to to use all this padding to its its best efficiency on your on your lumbar and your shoulders and whatnot it's a really comfortable bag um, it doesn't really matter if you're tall or short with this bag fits nicely great quality price point on these new a14s are 259 plus tax which is pretty good price point considering the fact that it has a little bit of storage uh, two drink carriers a rain fly um, one of the best bags on the market right now not my favorite bag but close so I think that pretty much covers the a14 all right next we're gonna move on to the dynamic disc Ranger bag this is a bag that was released a couple of years ago it's been through a number of runs number of upgrades um, a large number of color schemes which I personally like um, from a retailer standpoint it's a little frustrating to keep up with all of them but there's nothing wrong with having too many colors and varieties to choose from everybody has a different style everybody likes a different bag this was the bag that I'm still kind of planning on switching to I've had a number of the Ranger bags I really enjoy it this is as it stands right now this is my favorite bag on the market and I'll tell you why I have some zipper grips on here these are optional I happen to carry them in my shop so these do not come with the bag but this is the new blizzard color Ranger bag that just came out I really like it it's really clean I love the color gray 
Um, a lot of people already have been kind of hesitant to get it just because of the fact that it looks like it's going to get dirty really quick. If you don't like this color, there's a number of colors to choose from that are awesome that just came out. You got the new graffiti bag, the F11, you got the chartreuse, you have the older runs if you can track one of those down. But um, we'll go over this bag real quick here. So we'll start off with the quality of material. It's really nice. It's good stuff. It's made by OGO. OGO is a bag maker that's been around for a long time. They make luggage, they make an assortment of different bags, suitcases. They know what they're doing. Uh, Dynamic Disc was awesome to team up with OGO on these. It made for a good reputable bag. Um, the warranty on it is crazy. Same with the grip, you know, in all honesty, I've dealt with both of these companies and I haven't heard any problems with people trying to uh, address a warranty issue and not being taken care of. The warranty issues on these bags are incredible. If there's any manufacturer stitching or any problems like that that happen, it's as simple as sending a receipt, an email with some pictures and description of the problem, and uh, Dynamic Disc and Grip have been really good to take care of the customer and get them a new bag swapped out or any repairs made. Um, all right, here we go. So, number one thing that I love about the Ranger bag is this top storage pocket. I never used to really be one to take a lot of stuff with me on a round. Um, I usually have a couple drinks and my cell phone, my wallet, stuff like that. I don't really like to golf with a lot of stuff in my pockets. So this bag really took me from being able to just take a couple of things on a round to being able to just pack this thing with everything I would need all day long. I don't even have to leave the course between rounds. I got everything in here. Large storage pocket in the top here. This pocket is big enough for like, I stick a Gatorade in there, full-size Gatorade. I stick a windbreaker in there. Sometimes I stick an umbrella in there, my phone, everything. And um, on top of that, inside of the large storage, just got a little netted pocket in here. So you can keep your valuables to the side. You're not scratching your phone up or anything. Everything's tucked away in there. This pocket zips up nicely. Right down in here in the main compartment, you unzip this. Now, the Dynamic Disc Ranger bag comes with a divider in here. It's the first thing that I take out. Uh, you can leave it in there if you want. If you're one of those people that likes to, you know, your OCD about how your disc go in there, you like to keep your mids on one side and your fairways and drivers on the other, whatever, you leave the divider in there. It's simply Velcroed in. You can take this thing out, put it back in as you like. I take it out right away. Um, I haven't busted this bag out yet, so it's still in there, but. It pretty much keeps you from putting at least one extra disc in there. So if capacity is an issue, rip that thing out and stuff it. So right now I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 discs in the lower compartment. Again, this bag is brand new, hasn't been worn in yet, no side pocket softening or anything like that. So keep in mind after you take that divider out and uh, go through some rounds and whatnot, I mean, there's really room for one more in there right now, but you take that divider out you know, stuff it a little bit more than I like to, you could probably fit another three, even four discs in the bottom down there nicely. Okay, move over to the side over here. We got two pencil pockets right here, side pocket here. The thing I like about the Ranger is all these bags have pockets and pockets with pockets and all that. Um, I like to have a spot that is consistent in my bag where I keep my wallet. I like to have a certain spot where I put my cell phone. I like to have a certain spot where I put pretty much everything so that during a round I can focus on my play and I don't have to, you know, in between holes or whatever, I'm sitting here rummaging through all these different pockets in my bags trying to find the spot where, where did I put this this time? Where did I put this that time? That's been a little bit of problem with me in the grip bag. It's got plenty of pockets. Um, and maybe it's just because I've been with a Ranger for so long. I had a grip before, but for some reason, I just, I don't have certain spots for all my stuff in the grip bag like I do with the Ranger. The Ranger, I put my same things in the same pockets. I know where they are. It doesn't sound like much, and maybe I'm stressing over nothing, but I like to know where all my stuff is, and I don't even want to think about it when I go to my bag to grab something. So we got the side pocket right here. It's just a single pocket. Nice size one, though. That's where I usually put my wallet at. Uh, my keys, stuff like that. You got your two pencil pockets right here. Down on the side, you got your putter pocket. I really like the putter pocket on the side of the bag. Um, I was never really into the top pocket here. It's cool and all, you know, you set your bag down, you grab your disc out. But for me with my bag, like I almost grab my 
putter out of my side pocket while I'm walking up to the pin even before I put my bag down. I, I don't know what it is. I like it. It helps me visualize ahead of time a little bit. I got my putter in my hand already. I'm, I'm thinking about how far out it is, what the wind is, all that stuff. So I really like this putter pocket being on the side as opposed to anywhere else. It's actually a double putter pocket. Uh, when you first get the bag, it's kind of tight. You can stuff two in there right now, but I guarantee you that as time goes on and you play some more rounds and whatnot, it's really easy for this thing to loosen up and free to get two putters in there. And uh, even if you do end up later on going back to one, it doesn't fall out or anything like that once it's loosened up. It still holds it quite nicely. Got the nice dynamic disc logo right on there. It looks real good, real clean side profile of this bag. On the other side of the bag, we have two drink carriers. Now, I'm a little bit torn on this, but I've gotten used to it. This is a large drink carrier. This is where I stick my large Gatorade in. This is not as big of a pocket. This is actually like a drink carrier slash umbrella slash stool holder pocket. I can stick a 20 ounce Aquafina water in there or whatever. Um, it hasn't turned into a big deal. Honestly, I use this for my stool now and stick a Gatorade in there. I stick a Gatorade up top. No problem. The storage really compensates for, for the drink carrier. Um, no real issues there. Um, it's got some nice little nylon bottoms on these pockets and stuff too. So when you put a drink carrier in there, it's not staining the bottom of your pocket or anything like it used, used to do with older bags. Um, it, it holds up really well, it takes a little moisture and doesn't stain the, the pocket or anything. So you got the smaller pocket here. You have a stool fastening strap or umbrella or whatever right there. This is where I put my stool. I stick it right through there, legs down in there, fits just fine. Uh, you got a little clip over here for your bag tag or whatever you want. That's a nice little touch. And then you got a nice little pocket right over here, which is usually like my cell phone pocket. Perfect pocket for the cell phone right there. Um, back of the bag. I really like the back of the bag too, the way that they have the ribs set up. It's really comfortable. Um, it doesn't look so cool on this one, but like on the chartreuse or, or F11 or something like that, these ribs will be colored as well. So it, it looks really clean, looks really nice on there. Uh, handle on the top here for carrying holds up pretty well. Really good bag. This is honestly my favorite bag right now. I've had a number of grip bags. I've had a number of Ranger bags. Um, the argument usually is that the grip is more comfortable, has the rain fly. Um, the Ranger is cheaper and has the storage. So those are the two kind of arguing points right now between these two bags. But in all honesty, I have to go with a Ranger bag over the grip just because of the storage alone and the price point. Really quality made bag, looks really clean, lots of colors to choose from, great warranty, good bag. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the newest and baddest bag on the market. Uh, this is the Lat 64 DG Luxury Bag. This just came out, got my hands on these a couple days ago. Um, first, first impression right off the bat was Wow, this is a sick looking bag. Not a big fan of the black and white. I'm sure there's probably gonna be other colors available at some point. I look forward to those. Black and the white was a real good uh, starting model. It's real clean. I actually already have uh, plans to do a fatty airbrush job on here. You know, some people like to color in their, uh, their grip logos or their DD logos. I've seen rainbow or reggae style coloring jobs, all kinds of cool stuff, way to customize. I, I can foresee that happening a lot with this bag. There's a lot of stuff to color, decorate if you wanted to. Like I said, I'm gonna do a big fatty airbrush on, on here. It's gonna be pretty sick. But it's a large bag, large size bag. This stands taller than any of the bags. I'd say it's a little bit wider. Um, this bag is especially great for larger individuals, six foot or over, but doesn't look awkward on a smaller person at all. Um, I have not field tested this bag yet, so I'm going to give my impressions on it and I've, I've scrutinized this bag quite a bit and gone over it and checked it all out. So I'm gonna give my pre-rounds opinions on it. Um, I, I can't really vouch for it holding up over time or anything like that, like I said, because I'm not a bag tester. I just got these as a retailer and I, I did my best to go over it and check it out. But first impression is I, I really like the look of this bag. It's real clean. Um, it's not overdone with the logos. Uh, everything appears to be pretty solid. So here we go. All right, top compartment. 
First impression was it's kind of an awkward compartment. Um, probably because it's brand new, this area hasn't been really broken in or anything yet, but you reach down in here and it's actually a pretty large compartment. There's a lot of room in here. Um, my, my concerns would be reaching in and out of here a bunch of times or stuffing a big ass Gatorade bottle or something in there. Um, this, this looks like it's going to get stretched out or worn quite a bit, but I do not know that. So that, that, that's just my guess on what might happen. But this looks to be a, a pocket for uh, drinks, rain gear, stuff like that. Doesn't really seem to be something I would use for a putter pocket, but you could definitely stuff like five, six discs in here if you wanted to for sure in the top. Nice solid uh, top part right here. It says DG Luxury right there, that's pretty cool. This flap is actually Velcroed into the interior of the bag. It's got a Velcro strip down there, sticks in there. Or you can do like you can with the grip bag and you can actually fold this up inside and attach it to a, to a Velcro up in there, which is nice as well. Nice flap actually overhangs a little bit. Um, so if you had some like rain or something, it would drip down off, but we'll get to the rain issue here in just a second. Uh, material seems really good. It's kind of a canvasy. Um, I almost put it up there with like the old school Jansport backpacks or something. It's, uh, it's not quite the OGO material. It's not quite the grip nylon. It's kind of an in-between. Seems like it's going to hold up pretty well. This front pocket right here could be a number of things. You could stick an extra backup disc in there. You could have it be your putter pocket, which is pretty cool. Lift this up. Capacity wise, this one again has a divider in it here in the middle. Um, it's also attached by Velcro. You can move that to the side if you want to separate your disc in a certain way, or you can rip that thing out, which is probably what I'll do to maximize capacity. But right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. I got 18 discs down in there right now. That's without the divider out, and that's without the softening of the walls and whatnot. So I could foresee putting 21, 22 discs down here just in the bottom. Um, compare that or combine that with being able to put a disc right up here in this flap. Another four or five down here. You got a double putter pocket on the side down here. You could legitimately hold like 30, 31 discs in this bag if you wanted to, if you, if you maximized all the pockets. And that's pretty cool. I, I don't throw 31 discs. Um, so... I think maybe Felberg maybe had some insight or something on this bag. Wanted to go from the Zulu or whatever to, uh, to this bag and have large capacity, but it's definitely going to hold all the discs that you're going to want to hold in it. Down here in the bottom, we got a uh, large pocket right in the front. I would assume kind of like a valuables pocket as well. Cell phone, you know, wallet, keys, stuff like that. Easy access right there. Nice Latitude 64 logo on the front, not overdone. Okay, so up in this main compartment up here, unlike the grip bag that has the little spot on the inside of the disc compartment for your Rainfly, this one came with the Rainfly just kind of stuffed in the top pocket. Now that's okay. Not, I'm personally not a big fan of that. I would have liked to have a spot to put it in. I guess you could dedicate one of these smaller pockets, fold it up nicely and stick it in there if you wanted to. I was a little bummed that there wasn't actually a spot for the Rainfly. It was just in there, but it is what it is does appear to be a pretty nice quality Rainfly. I like the fact that it's blank. Um, I've already got some pretty cool ideas of stuff that I'll probably take down to my buddy Chris and have him um, print some stuff up on this. Gives you the ability to actually customize your Rainfly if you want to, which is pretty cool. So same type of deal as with the grip bag. Actually, the snaps and whatnot are almost in the exact same position as the grip bag. Um, covers the entire bag up. Looks real nice. Keeps the rain off. Stoked that there's a rain fly. It's literally pretty much my only complaint with the Ranger bag is that there's no rain fly on it. Uh, don't know why they haven't done one, but it's, it's nice that they incorporated that into the Lat 64 bag. So we'll go over to the side real quick. Got a couple pencil pockets down here on the side, as opposed to the grip, keeps them up top. You have a side pocket right here. It's just a single pocket, no pockets inside of that, but again, another place to put some of your stuff. You got the putter pocket right here. Claims to be a double putter pocket, I could see that. Looks like it's actually ready to go on too already. 
So you can put two in there. This compartment on the side is actually big enough to stick three, four backup discs in there if you wanted to. So maybe you're one of those people that likes to have your putters and your driving putters. You could stick your putters in here, your driving putters in there if you wanted and keep all the rest down here for, for your other discs. Uh, mini pocket right here. The back of it, pretty solid. Nice padding right here. Central padding. It's actually really comfortable. I, once I filled it full of discs and put it on, it's real snug, kind of like the grip bag is. Doesn't slide around a lot. Um, you can adjust the straps as well. You got your little hooks down here for your, your bag tags or whatever you want to do. The other really cool part about this bag is it actually has an umbrella holder. And what I'll do is I'll grab a, got a Prodigy umbrella here. Hopefully I don't block the view up, but I'm going to pop that bad boy up. What you do here is you open the umbrella up, you slide it through this hole. It actually slides back behind this side pocket and then down into a little mini pocket next to the drink holder. And then up top, it actually has a fastening strap that you can tighten up to hold the umbrella in there. So you can literally have an umbrella open and keeping you protected from the rain and you don't have to hold it at all. It stays on your bag when you set your bag down. It's covering the entire bag. Um, that com combined with the rain fly, just awesome. It's gonna definitely make your bag last longer. Um, one thing I haven't quite been able to figure out yet is this small strap up here that kind of cinches the umbrella. I messed around with it a little bit, but it doesn't seem to cinch quite as tight as you would want it to. So it's kind of like wiggling around in there a little bit. It makes me think it's going to kind of do that when you're walking with it on. Probably won't be too bad. And that's, I mean, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong with it, but worst case scenario, you create your own little Velcro strap or something just to cinch that up. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be that big of a deal. Definitely not, definitely not a killer on the purchase. But I thought that was really cool to have an umbrella up on there because I've been to some tourneys this year where it was just dump and rain. And to be able to have an umbrella on there, keep you, keep you covered and dry, priceless. So that little pocket is right down in here next to your drink carrier. Um, the bad news is there's one drink carrier on this bag. I'm not quite sure why anybody would ever do that. But the good news is there's more storage up top here. You could easily slide a couple Gatorades in here if you want to. It's not going to be a big deal. I like to have the two drink carriers right on the side of my bag. That's just me. So. The only other thing is we got these two pockets. There's one of these on each side. And uh, they open kind of funky from the side there. Pretty deep pocket, kind of weird shaped. It goes really well with the bag, nice logo. Stick some stuff up in there as well. So in the end, here's what we got. We got the big dog, Lat 64. Uh, we'll see if it stands the test of time. I'm really impressed with the quality of it. The price point is $199, which is just awesome. That's, that's a nice, happy medium between the Ranger bag and the grip bag. Very affordable. It's got the rain fly. It's got the umbrella holder. Plenty of pockets. Love the putter pocket on the side. Real clean look. Um, not overdone with logos or anything like that. There's a spot for everything. Um, probably going to switch to it for a while and check it out, see what it does. Got the Ranger over here, two drink carriers, <clears throat> double putter pocket, lots of storage in top, OGO, tried and true bag maker, great warranty, um, great company to deal with on top of that, $174.99. We got the Grip A14 Tour Series. These are running $259 right now, a little high to some. I think it's worth it. Their, uh, their manufacturer's warranty is top notch, just like Dynamic Disc is. Um, it's got the Rainfly, two drink carriers, good quality material, nice variety of colors, good amount of storage, not as much as I'd like to see, but um, it's a smaller, more uh, low profile bag, clean look, looks real good. So. I just wanted to make this little video to actually compare all three bags. I've seen a number of videos where people are just, you know, doing the Ranger or doing the Grip or whatever. Um, being a retailer, I've been out on the road. We do a lot of vending at tournaments out of, out of town, out of state. 
Uh, people are always asking me which which bag do you use? Which one do you like? I've been thinking about getting this one. Somebody told me this. I heard that. So I just kind of wanted to go over everything and, and let you have a informed decision and choose which bag you like. It's a important purchase. Um, I've been through a ton of bags before I really kind of settled down with the Ranger and, and just decided to go with that. I really enjoy this bag. Um, so I just wanted to be able to give you a chance to give you my personal opinion. Things that I think about them, probably uh, good things, bad things. You, you can't go wrong with any of these bags. Um, if, if you want to keep it low cost and want a nice, a nice quality bag, go with the Ranger. Money's not an issue. Go with the Grip bag, give that a shot. Um, you want to try to be a little different and try something new out, give Latitude 64 a chance. This looks like they spent a lot of time uh, coming up with this design. I'm going to switch over to it for a little while and see what I think about it. I'm pretty impressed with the initial, the initial uh, look at it. So I hope this helped you out. Um, again, I'm Jason Oxen, the owner of 208 Dis. If there's anything I can ever help you with, please feel free to look me up on Facebook or go to 208disc.com. And uh, the only other thing I want to say is just please support women's disc golf. Um, I'm a big supporter of women's disc golf, not only locally, but in other states as well. Uh, this is an important group of people that often go overlooked. Um, even before I had the shop, all it takes sometimes is just grabbing a couple of discs out of your bins that are just sitting around, not doing anything. Find some lightweight stuff, find whatever you got. Ta towels, patches, discs, and just donate to your local women's league. Um, you'd be amazed what it'll do just to kind of fire them up a little bit and get, get some more ladies coming out. This is a particular group that I, I personally care about and uh, would like to see more people kind of giving a little extra effort towards women's disc golf. So I hope this helped you out a little bit. Look me up if you ever need anything and have a great summer.